Well done. Many congratulations on uh, winning the tournament here. There are many firsts for you today. What does it mean to become a winner? Uh, it's, it's unbelievable. I mean, I still can't believe it. It's just a couple of minutes after the match. To have this, this title, it, it means the world to me. And I felt earlier in my career, 2005, 2006, I deserved one, one Masters 1000 title. Didn't happen, it now happened when I least expected. I, I, knew, I knew I was playing good tennis, but to beat Djokovic, Monaco, Nadal, Roddick, one after another in, in, in a week like this, it's just a dream, it's fantastic. It must give you the confidence to uh, you know, release the pressure from your shoulders and maybe push on now. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, all throughout the tournament, and not only this tournament, but last, let's say, 18 months, I was relaxed, and I am relaxed. I know that this title, when I was about to, to go on court, I knew I was thinking that this is not going to change my life if I win or lose. And, you know, when you have the approach like that, you can play more relaxed, and this is exactly what happened to me today. The media is going to mention it all week. I mean, it's a perfect birthday present here as well. Yeah, well, you know, this tournament comes in this period of the year when, when my birthday is on, and... I've been celebrating uh, the birthday here for, for many years now, and it's, it's been fantastic, of course. And to beat Andy Roddick in two tie-break sets, that's pretty unique itself. Well, the last time we played uh, before this final was 2007. On this court quarterfinal, he won 7-6, seven, 7-6. Six, seven, six. So, you know, we, we played a lot of these close matches. He's still 7-4 up in head-to-heads, but this title really means the world to me, and I'm really, really happy to be a winner.